everybody's idea of a good time, but it's at everyone else's expense. First tonight, 20 people are facing charges for their involvement in a group that has been destructive and disturbed the peace in Kalamazoo for years now. Investigators say the ex-train members gather in cars in the middle of the night on the weekends, riding around with drugs and alcohol in tow. 24-hour news 8's Lindsay McComo has our report from Kalamazoo, where neighbors say they've lost sleep many a times over the ex-train. Well, Leon, we spoke to people today who say this group has been around for more than seven years. The X in X train standing for ecstasy. We spoke to one couple who's lived in their home for more than 30 years, and they hope yesterday's 20 arrests mark the beginning of the end. Usually the cars have their base on so loud that it will rattle your windows. Um, it's very difficult to get a good night's sleep on the weekend. Besides the next morning having to go out in your front yards and clean up the broken glass from the uh, liquor bottles that they've tossed from their cars. This is video captured recently showing just how loud the X train gets during the middle of the night. It's, it's hazardous to the rest of the residents that are trying to get a good night's sleep and trying to do the right thing. And here we have a group of criminals. The X train has been on Kalamazoo Public Safety's radar since before 2010. This is a report from Mark Thompson in March 2011 when Tommy Emery was convicted of second degree murder for shooting two people riding in X train cars that were being disruptive outside his house. We spoke to his attorney Jason Ronning after the conviction. Ronning argues that police aren't doing enough to stop the X train problem and says last week's deadly shooting of 39 year old Tiffany Ayers shows the problem is getting worse. Ayers was shot in the area of Westnage in Florence and police confirmed she may have been riding in an X train earlier that night. We do know there's a, she had some indirect involvement. Recently the Pridgens have worked closely with Chief Hadley and hope that they'll put an end to the group. The restless sleep and scattered garbage in the streets. Our goal is to have the police officers continue and ramp up their um, patrols, um, and we pray for their safety. The 20 people arrested yesterday are facing charges ranging from fleeing and eluding arrest all the way up to possession with intent to deliver heroin and cocaine, and we will report those names once they are formally arraigned. Reporting from Kalamazoo tonight, Lindsay McComel, 24-Hour News 8.